Well, I have Seth here with me today, and we're going to be looking at some interesting properties of these chemicals that we've got here in front of us. Now, these chemicals, even though they're very different, I've got lithium chloride, I've got strontium chloride, I've got calcium chloride, sodium chloride, I've got, let's see, what do we have here? Boric acid, copper sulfate, and potassium chloride. So, seven different chemicals, and then we've got one empty watch glass in front of us. We'll talk about what that's there for in a minute. But when we talk about like sodium, lithium, strontium, calcium, potassium, we know those are all different types of, what type of material? Metal. They're different metals, right? And I know we've been talking about different elements in class. We know those are different metals. But these are actually, we call them metal salts because they contain that metal element, but this isn't just the pure metal. It's actually a molecular compound. And we're going to look at just the interesting properties, though, of these different elements when we burn them or when we expose them to fire. So I've already got some measured out into our, into our watch glasses. We don't have to do that. I'm going to go ahead and clear these bottles out of the way. And we're just going to take a little bit of alcohol and pipe it into the different watch glasses. And if you'll just put two pipettes full into each, that'll be enough for us to observe what we're going to be looking at today. All right, Seth, so we've got our alcohol ready in here. We're using methanol, which is this particular type of alcohol that happens to burn with a nice blue flame. And we're going to use that as our fuel so that we can kind of make a fire around these different metal salts. So we'll just kind of start in the middle and work out. Let's go ahead and just light these and let's just see what happens as they start burning. So now that they're burning, what do you what do you notice about our our flames here? They're different colors. Yeah, everyone's a little bit different color, right? It goes from pink to red to orange to yellow. You've got kind of a yellowish green. You've got more of a bluish green, and then sort of a bluish purple and a, a purplish orange color there. But what's happening? These different metals, when they're exposed to a flame, they actually give off different colors of light, and that's what we see. We see the lithium burning pink, strontium burns red. Our calcium burns orange, sodium is yellow. The boric acid burns more of a yellowish green, and then that copper sulfate's more of the bluish green. The methanol has an almost colorless flame, but it's got a little bit of a bluish tint there to it. And then the potassium's that bright orangish purple color. So that just kind of gives us almost like a full spectrum of color just from these different chemicals. So Seth, do you ever go maybe watch a fireworks show and you see, you know, every firework, you've got all these different colors. You might have the pinks and the greens and the blues. And they use different metals like this to give fireworks those different colors. It'd be, I guess, kind of boring if we went to watch the fireworks and everyone was exactly the same. But using different metals like this in the firework composition, we can actually give all these different colors. And it's a great way just to create a nice spectrum of color in the chemistry lab. Pretty cool.